Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com back at you with another screencast. Uh, this, today we're going to be talking about iTunes Match Part 2 and we're going to be talking about understanding your match results. Alright, now that we're in our library, we've done the iTunes Match, it's taken care of everything. Uh, looking at, our, at my library now, there's not a lot that's different. Um, the only things that are different that I can see is there's a cloud next to music now, uh, which basically is just telling me that my music has been matched. It's in the, in the cloud uh, through iTunes Match, but I don't have anything else that's really telling me what's going on here. Uh, for me to figure out which ones were matched or which ones had problems, uh, you just come up to this toolbar up here, it's right here in iTunes, and you control click on it and a drop down comes down. And these are all of the different columns that you can have displayed in iTunes. And you'll notice that we have two iCloud uh, items there, iCloud Download and iCloud Status. So if I click uh, iCloud Download, uh, you'll notice that uh, a column popped out here with a cloud, and I'll show you what that means in a minute. But I want to show both the iCloud download and the iCloud status. And when I pop the iCloud status out, you'll notice that it shows uh, you know, these different uh, words uh, as to what happened to my library. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, try to move both of these uh, categories over here. You can do that in iTunes, just kind of move your categories around, uh, just so that these things are closer uh, to the side here so that we can get an idea of what's going on. Now, once I see this, um, I can certainly sort by the status, and then it will match everything in this column, or I can sort it by uh, cloud, uh, and that'll give me an idea. Uh, but to really understand what these uh, symbols mean, if you notice, if I, if I scroll down, uh, and I'll just keep going. Might get a little dizzy there as I'm going down my uh, library. Uh, but as we as we go through the library and I come down here, you'll notice that uh, there are little clouds, little icons that uh, pop up on the sidebar over here. And you'll see some that say uh, duplicate and ineligible, different things like that. Uh, those are those are little indicators as to what's happening uh, in my library. So to understand what each of those symbols mean and what it's talking about, we're just going to pop over here to the uh, iTunes website. And uh, iTunes has uh, Apple has a great support article that tells us what each of these things mean. So if you get if you get a cloud with a little line through it, that means that that particular song was ineligible, which basically means that it was either 200 megabytes, uh, so it, or bigger, which means it's too big to upload, or it was 96 kilobits per second. Uh, or under, which means it was a low quality encoded song and they're not going to upload that uh, or match that either. Uh, the other thing that's not mentioned here that also is ineligible is if you have any videos like music videos or anything like that uh, in the music section of your library, those will not be matched or uploaded either. They'll just be ineligible. Uh, you'll notice underneath that it says uh, with a, has a cloud with an X through it and that says removed and that means that's a song that you you may have removed from iCloud from a different computer uh, that uh, that doesn't show up anymore. It doesn't mean it's gone, it just means, hey, that was removed uh, from the computer and so it lets you know that. Uh, there's also an error uh, cloud that has a little cloud with an exclamation point. That means there's something wrong with the upload and you can try uh, matching the song again and I'll show you how to do that uh, when we get back into iTunes. But there's an error with the file. Uh, you have a duplicate and the nice thing about iTunes Match is it shows you what songs it thinks are duplicates and you'll see there's two clouds with a line through it. And uh, I'll show you in a minute that you have to look at that carefully. It's not always exactly the same, but it's, but it's pretty close. And it's kind of nice to find songs that you have that are duplicates. And then finally, there's just a cloud by itself with a dotted line around it. And, and that means that they're waiting. That means that that particular song is still going through the match process and hasn't been uploaded yet. So if you want to have a, just a nice key for understanding uh, what these things are, uh, you can go right to Apple's website and check that out. So let me just pop that down. And let's go back into iTunes here. And uh, as I said, you can see on the side here, I've got a number of songs that were uh, uploaded. I've got some that were matched. Uh, it also shows you songs that are purchased, uh, songs that are duplicates, as you can see here. And then it also shows you songs that are, are ineligible. And so it gives you all of those different categories so you have an idea of what's going on. Uh, a couple of things that I've noticed is that uh, sometimes uh, iTunes will upload uh, songs that are in partial albums. So, for instance, uh, I have a situation have situations where I've got songs. If I just do this, let me just go down to uh, where this is happening here. Um, but it, but I have songs that were uploaded that I felt really should have been matched uh, because they matched most of the rest of the library. But for some reason, they decided to upload the uh, these particular songs. So if I uh, if I scroll down here, let me see if I can find uh, some of those. Uh, for instance, U2. 
I have the uh, the entire uh, Best Of album, and it up uploaded all of it except for this one song. And, and I really don't know why uh, it didn't do that. Now, you'll notice here the Joshua Tree. I've got two songs that were left that weren't uploaded. And so I don't really, we don't really know exactly what the logarithm is that Apple's using to upload these things. Uh, and for some reason, those two songs didn't fit, measure up to what they thought they should. And so rather than match them, they uploaded them. Uh, I would suspect that over time, as they get better at, at refining this process, that those things eventually will get matched and uh, the status will change. But for now, uh, just know you may have some things that, partially, uh, that get partially matched and partially uploaded. And that's just sort of the nature of, of how it works. Uh, let's go down here for a second, and I just want to show you um, the ineligibles for a minute. And you'll notice here in the ineligibles, I put the bit rate right next to them uh, because you can see here that these bit rates are under the 96 kilobits per second. And that's why these weren't uploaded because these are low quality uh, encodings. And so, like it said on the on the legend there, that it's not going to upload those. You'll also notice here that I've got uh, the little TV there, which means that these are music videos right here. And these music videos weren't uploaded either because it doesn't upload video. And so I can fix these ineligibles a couple of different ways. Um, one of the ways that I can fix it is if I wanted to, I could click on this right here. And if you control click on this song, what I could do is I could uh, trick iTunes into seeing it as a higher bit rate version. If I just said create uh, MP3 version here, uh, or I could create an AAC version, what will happen is, is it will actually re-encode the song. And when it's done, it'll come in at a higher bit rate, even though the quality of the song isn't great. And then iTunes Match goes in and says, oh, okay, there, there's a song that fits the right uh, kilobits per second. And it will then match it uh, or upload it, depending on how it fits into its system. So that's one way you can get around this. If you just want to have the 256 kilobit songs from Apple that you can download, you can just upload them this way. Just re-encode them and then let iTunes Match do its thing to upload them, and you'll be in good shape. Uh, the other thing is, is on this, these particular ones, I have the album, so I'll just uh, re-rip the CDs and once I do that then those things will be matched and uploaded to the cloud uh, as well. Now a um, couple of other things uh, as you're looking here you notice here's the duplicates and these are songs that iTunes thinks are duplicates. Now one of the things that I noticed uh, in this case is I've got songs uh, that I got that were from uh, classical music it was 99 uh, essentials and I've got things like you know the Baroque period and Bach and those kinds of things well, there happens to be the same songs by the same artist on those albums, and so iTunes thinks then uh, that they're duplicates. And uh, if I can, uh, let's see if I can highlight this one here that says a duplicate. If I go by name, uh, you'll notice that uh, it says duplicate here, and it says uh, matched. Let me just uh, pull this out here so you can see. Uh, you'll notice these two are the same song, the way that they're they're noted and they're put together. Now, if, however, I just show you the cover art, uh, for these, hold on, I just want to do it this way. Uh, you'll notice that uh, these, the the couple that were matched, uh, that were duplicates. Here's one right, right here, uh, and I believe it's probably, well, that didn't work so well. I was going to show you that they had different cover, um, you know, different album covers. In, in this kind of thing. Maybe this one will do it right here. Uh, but they have different album covers and so what happens is, is it thinks it's a duplicate. Yeah, there you go. See, there's Vivaldi. This is the exact same song, but it's in two different albums. And so you want to be careful with deleting duplicates too fast because if you do, uh, you may end up be deleting a song that you might want a part of an album. Uh, they may be actually be the same song, but you still might want to keep them that way. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't upload these to the cloud. Uh, there, uh, you might want to go in and maybe change something uh, in how the song looks, and maybe you could trick iTunes Match to uh, match it or upload it. Uh, but uh, in these cases where you happen to have songs that span a couple albums, they're going to show duplicates. And, it, and like I said, it's up to you if you want to keep them with those albums or not. It depends on how you actually end up listening to the music. But I wanted to show you that that ends up becoming the case a lot of times, and it's important to check that out so that you know that, that you don't just delete them without uh, checking it out uh, first. Another thing I wanted to show you is uh, the great thing about iTunes Match is it does upload all of your playlists, uh, your smart playlists and all of them you've got. Uh, with with a, with an exception and a couple exceptions. If you look over here, you notice this cloud here uh, with a line through it. That means that it feels that this particular playlist is ineligible and it's not uploading it. Now, I, Apple doesn't have very good documentation on this, but if you, if you kind of click on this right here, it actually pulls up 
uh, a little uh, a notice here that tells you why. It's a smart playlist that reference other playlists are not supported by iCloud and will not be uploaded. Well, what I did with this particular smart playlist, and if I uh, right click on it, I can edit it, and I'll show you what this looks like. I had uh, said that the playlist is music because I didn't want any music videos showing up in this particular playlist, and so I used uh, I used music as a playlist to sort of uh, keep those things out of there. If I want to have this uploaded to iCloud, because I'm not really worried that any music videos are in there anyway, because iCloud's not going to upload them. If I get rid of this uh, this uh, determiner in the playlist there, if I just click that off and I say, okay, watch what happens to the cloud. See, the cloud disappears and now it becomes a solid cloud, which means that iTunes Match now has kicked in and it's going to upload that playlist to the cloud so that it will be available to me on all of my devices. Uh, kind of a neat thing that you can uh, you can do there that have to have your playlist there and it comes in really handy when you're trying to download music into your uh, iPod or into your iPad uh, because instead of having to sort through the whole list of songs you've got you might just want to play one particular playlist and have it download that uh, onto your device and it's a lot easier way to manage uh, all of those different things that you have going on. All right, so that's it for our screencast on iTunes Match. Hopefully that helps you understand uh, your match results better. And I'll come back at you with another screencast on iTunes Match and to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.